This has certainly been a hot button issue across the country lately. Body cameras worn by police officers and tonight that conversation is taking place in Norman. Should Norman police officers be wearing these body cameras? We are joined now by Sarah Jensen with the Norman Police Department as the City Council is set to vote on this tonight. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having us. So where does the police department stand on this issue? Do they want the body cameras or do they do they not? They absolutely want them. And this has been a project that's been in the works since 2012. Um, we've had a couple of obstacles along the way just with vendors and things of that nature, but um, our officers are ready for them to be on the streets and we think a majority of the citizens are as well. And you do not have dash cameras at this point, correct? That's correct. So at this point, there's really no accountability. There's really no transparency. Well, our department has been utilizing audio recorders for over 20 years and was probably one of the first agencies in the metro to be utilizing those. And so officers do activate those while they're on calls, um, but we have not had that video element. And we really feel like this is going to tell us the full story. Um, it's going to add another component for citizens. And what at, and how many how many times do you come across a case where you say, man, I wish we had some video evidence or I wish we could go back to some dash cameras or some body camera video to talk about this case? I mean, does that happen a lot where you wish you could reference some video? Absolutely, frequently. And it's also just such a great resource, not only for evidential reasons, because um, cameras also catch things that the human eye doesn't or that the officer doesn't in the moment. And so it provides another resource for our officers um, when they're on the scene to be able to capture more of what's occurring and maybe things that they don't key in on right away. It gives us the opportunity to go back and look at those from an evidentiary standpoint. So you guys have been working on this since 2012. Why now? Why is it finally starting to come together now? Well, back in 2012, when we first entered this process and began researching it, we selected a vendor, but during the vendor process, that vendor was bought out. Um, and so that kind of nullified our contract. And so we had to start back over. Um, we feel like this is a great opportunity though, because because of the way the process has worked out, we now have the uh, latest information, I mean, technology out there, and we'll be able to provide that to our officers if it goes through tonight. We just went through this with the Oklahoma City Police Department and the Fraternal Order of Police, the police union. And there was a lot of back and forth, a lot of, I wouldn't say argument, but disagreement on uh, as to who would view the video when the cameras would be turned on, how it would be stored, who would get to view that video and when. Have you guys already discussed all of those details or have those discussions yet to be had? And we've already had those discussions. The FOP, um, our FOP has been involved in the process and um, pretty much from the start. And so as we've worked through the research process, part of the process, and then also through policies and procedural elements of um, body cameras, they've been right there um, along the way and they're good with how it stands now. And so we feel like once this is approved and we can purchase those cameras, the rollout should be pretty smooth. You know, Oklahoma City, those cameras will be turned on just about at every moment, except for in situations that have to do with privacy, those cameras will be turned off. What is your situation if this is approved? Very similar. Um, officers will be required to activate it anytime they're interacting with citizens, whether that be a traffic stop, um, maybe just a regular call for service. Anytime they may be stopped for a wave over or someone that anytime really they're interacting with citizens, it should be turned on. Um, we will turn them on even in private residences, but we will not be releasing that information due to privacy concerns. Okay. And what has the reaction or the feedback been like from city council? Are you expecting this to pass tonight? Again, the meeting at 630. We're hopeful. Um, we feel like we've had a lot of citizen requests for um, these cameras. We've also had a lot of officers request these cameras. And so we feel like the community is ready for these, especially after last week's um, community forum. A lot of positive feedback that's come into the police department, a lot of citizens that are ready for the rollout and ready to have this additional tool um, for transparency. We're talking about 75 body cameras at this point. Where did the number 75 come from first? And then how much are we talking as far as money goes? How much will this cost? Sure, the system that we um, have selected as a kiosk system. So officers will come in, they'll be able to log into a computer, it will light up a body camera, they will take that body camera, it's going to provide them the one with the most storage, the most battery availability. And so based on that system, 75 is what we can afford based on our initial budgeting and contract. Um, but this will outfit the department at all times, there will always be enough cameras for whoever is working on the clock. Um, so really, it was a money issue, but then also just the best system to fit the needs of the department. And how much will the 75 body cameras cost? 750 thousand. Um, however, the biggest portion of that cost goes into the infrastructure that you have to build um, to be able to store and keep all of this data. Okay. And so a lot of it goes into that IT side and we're going to store it locally. We're not going to store it on a cloud. And so it's really all of the technological side of it that costs the large. And is price. that a taxpayer 
thing? Would the would the community be footing the bill for that? Sure, and the money's already there, and this was surplus funding from the public safety sales tax one. Okay, um, is where that came from, and so when there was surplus of funds, um, they worked with that committee to determine when the top priorities and body cameras was number one.